Ask Tom on Home Show. Keith from Katy, Texas has a question about door replacement. Keith found out that projects aren't as always as easy as they look on TV, Tom. That Keith, is true. Keith writes, we purchased a new front door for our home at a home center to install ourselves, and the door is the correct size, but unfortunately the new hinges do not align with the existing door frame, and they're cut into the door, so we can't just uninstall them and relocate them. It would appear the framework needs to be redone. How would we do this, or who would you recommend we have fix this. He's right there in Katy. Okay. There's there's a several options. And for anybody that's buying a door, if it's set for hinges, you're going to have either three and a half or four inch hinges. You're going to have square corners or you're going to have rounded corners. So always take a look at that. Hinges on a door that you have are never going to line up with a door that has hinges that are already mortised in there. So don't think it's just going to be, an, oh, we'll just swap them out. It'll be so much fun. Uh, it doesn't work that way at all. Now, what you can do is you can either uh, mortise the edge of the door to fit the hinges on your frame, or you can put the hinges in the door and then mortise the frame to fit that if you don't want to switch out your entire frame. If you're going to do the whole frame and everything, uh, that's a lot of work. I just as soon see you take that door to someone like Door Clearance Center and have them make a unit out of it where the frame and everything is all set and all you do is pull the old door out and put the new, new door in, but it's going to be some money and it's going to be a bigger job. Uh, but that would be the answer if you want a really clean job. Uh, quite frankly, it might be cheaper to just go buy a door from them that's very similar to the one you have and find something else to do with that door you bought and let them set the whole unit up because their prices are so low. And I don't know how much money you're really going to save, but if you want to keep that door, if you want to keep your existing hinges, you're going to have to decide, are you going to use the hinge placement on the frame or the hinge placement on the door? And then you're going to have to make the door or the frame fit that by taking a chisel and a hammer and, and scoping it out. And then with a, with a, what you do is you, you, you outline it with a, with a razor blade and then you take a very sharp chisel and you chisel it and mortise it down so the hinges sit flat and flush. And then you're going to have an area where you'll see where the old one was... Uh, was mortised but if you don't see it that much it might not bother you mm -hmm. i was watching uh, this old house the other day and they mm -hmm. they were more doing the mortise and work they were using a router to do it and uh, yeah now is, those guys first off have well, the tools that homeowners it, don't it, have tommy knows how to do stuff <laughs> that maybe you know, if i was in the business through yeah. doors it's it's right. a jig setup where you actually set it up and then you just mm -hmm. zzz, 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 yeah. zzz, and it's all done right and you do no the offense, same on Keith. the frame yeah, <laughs> yeah. No but offense here. If you Keith, want to go but... that expense, you still have to buy a new door because somebody already did that in the factory and they did it in the wrong spot. When so, if you do this time, if you're going to mortise in those things in the different places, like you're talking about, are you then going to fill in the others or just leave that those other places? Does it matter? It doesn't matter because you don't see it when the door is closed. Uh, I would do it on the door and not the frame. Because you see, you notice the frame more, but the edge of the door people don't look at. So probably you just have to lengthen the one on the top or the bottom, depending how the hinges sit on the door, and just take a little bit out so that hinge fits into the door if the door's the right thickness. So that's how I would do it. I would do it on the door side, not the frame side. I'd leave the frame alone and match to those hinges. Got a question? Tom will help you out. No matter what it is, right there. Click on that blue Ask Tom button. You'll find it at homeshowradio.com, by the way. It'll take you to this page where you can figure out whether you're going to send us a video or pictures or whatever you want to do to help us give you a good answer because Tom likes to help. And so we put these videos. I post a new one every day at homeshowradio.com, uh, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel where you'll find hundreds, almost thousands of answers just like this one.